All right, aloha. Let's see if I can tap into this energy really fast. I'm in my last reading I did, I felt a lot of um, tap into your breath, tap into the divine within and that's around you. Release the tension, release the heavy burdens so your hands are able to catch these blessings that are about to be pouring in. The moon is in Sagittarius. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. Jupiter is luck, expansion, having hope. We're going to pull the card from the mana deck, first of all, to set the tone and see where we're at. What's coming in? Is it coming in? What kind of things are blocking you from getting what is yours? It's all in the stars right now. You just have to be in alignment and ready to catch. Remember who you are. Now we got Ho'oponopono. This is about forgiving, coming together, communication. Maybe something needs to be said. Maybe you're holding on to some sort of grudge and that is what's blocking you from receiving that abundance. This cup came out again. I just did a reading and I had to start it all over again. And this is Eight of Cups. Someone has to walk away from something. Maybe someone hurt you. Someone did something. Someone did something. But the divine still require you to forgive. Then you can fully receive the abundance that is yours. You have to walk away. But walk away in love, walk away in forgiving. Page of Swords is a young man, young masculine energy. Doesn't have to be a man, this is all energy. And this speaks of gossip, someone spying. So maybe you did have a fallout with someone. Someone you're in a relationship, a friend, a job. And perhaps they were gossiping. Perhaps you were gossiping. And you guys have to come together and talk it over. Or maybe just go within. If you guys are on really bad terms that you can't come together. It's just about, you know, just forgiving. Because that part is personal. The magician. This is focused. Turning your visions into a reality. Some of you are manifesting big things, but you weren't in alignment with it just because you're holding on to some sort of grudge or someone hold, holding a grudge with you, but release that that has to be released through forgiveness through love through communication communicating how you feel the world this is completing a goal lesson done once you do that the mission will be complete once you drop that bird in your hands you're able to catch the abundance that is already there the hermit Clarity, looking within, going on a quest. So once that mission is complete, then you go on the inward quest now. Because you forgave. So you're finding new parts of yourself. Because your heart is no longer hardening, but softening. Having compassion for yourself, having compassion for others is not always easy. The emperor... Oh, yeah, the emperor. <laughs> the leader, someone who has a plan, coming right under the magician.
clear and focused. Focused. Mm, mm -hmm. What are you focusing on? We got the Nine of Wands. And the Eight of Wands. So you're really focusing on maintaining your boundaries. Because when we don't have boundaries, that's how we allow things to disrupt our path. So holding your boundaries against attacks, against competitors, someone who feels like you're a competition rather than a partner. So that's what you're walking away from, yeah. I'm going to end this. I love you all. Mahalo for being here. Ooh. We'll finish this in another one.